Hey guys, it's Yumna, aka Feel Good Foodie. I love to share wholesome, nutritious meals that make your body feel good. Everyone needs a go-to guacamole recipe for cookouts, parties, and just plain snacking with tortilla chips. I've been making guacamole for years and I've really perfected the recipe. I make it with the usual fresh ingredients, but it's a perfect balance so it's not too salty, not too spicy, and not too citrusy. It's the perfect combination that everyone will love, so grab those ripe avocados and let's make some simple guacamole. You'll need some ripe avocados, red onions, cilantro, jalapeno peppers, lime juice, garlic, and salt. We'll start by cutting the avocados. Perfectly ripe avocado. That's what you're looking for. It's gonna make it more creamy and the flavor is just going to be perfect. Now I like to take a knife and just insert it here and just kind of wiggle it a little bit and then pop it off. Then use a spoon to remove the flesh from the skin. And now you can use a fork or a potato masher to give it all a good mash. Now let's go ahead and chop the fresh ingredients. We'll start with by chopping the red onion. A little bit of tears, but usually keeping the stem on doesn't have as many tears, but this is one strong red onion. So I use a measuring cup just to make sure that we've got just half a cup because I've learned over the years that it's the perfect amount for three avocados. So we'll add that to the avocados. You can save these onions for another use. So I just throw them right into a Tupperware and then I have them ready for another recipe or a salad. I like to use one fourth of a cup of cilantro. So we're just gonna start with some fresh leaves here and chop it up. Again, I love to measure it out, especially if I'm serving this at a party, just so the flavors are perfect. So we'll use a fourth of a cup of cilantro. We'll add the cilantro now to the avocados. Now we'll add some jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers are usually not spicy as long as you remove the seeds. This is one minced garlic and half a teaspoon of salt. And now we'll add the juice of one lime. Give it all a good toss, and then we can transfer it to a serving bowl. I've got some homemade tortilla chips that we're gonna serve these with, so I like to put them on a platter like this and do a little taste test. Perfect seasoning. Mm, those chips are so good. They're light and airy. I have to put that recipe on my blog. Tasting it is my favorite part, but I highly recommend tasting it before you serve it, just in case it needs more salt or more lime juice, anything else to add to your flavor. And now it's time for a video match to try the recipe. All right. Let me fix them a little bite. Yay, he likes it. And I hope you guys try the recipe and like it as well. Thank you for watching. Check out the video description below for a full written recipe. And be sure to like, follow, subscribe for more healthy-ish recipes with feel-good ingredients. See you guys next time. This is so good.